Hey everybody, this is the Barton Musical Circuit's new four knob sequencer. Uh, so the basic idea behind this sequencer is it's got two voltage outputs and two gate outputs. Uh, and all of the uh, voltages on each step of the sequence and whether the gates are active or inactive at each step of the sequence is all determined by the positions of these four knobs. Uh, the microcontroller has specific instructions for each step on how to uh, add or subtract or multiply the numbers uh, derived from these knob positions to generate voltages or gate outputs for. Uh, and so it's a very um, uh, it's a very difficult to predict kind of sequencer, but it's not something that's random. You can get the same sequence by getting the same knob positions, and you're going to change the sequence by making little changes to the knobs, or you'll get a big change by moving the knobs in a big way. Um, and so it's just a kind of a different way to sequence things, uh, and it's a kind of a unique uh, sort of experience. Um, so let me go over the other controls. So that, you could build it without anything but a clock input, the four knobs and the outputs, but I added some other controls just to make it a little bit uh, more versatile for people and let it play nicer with other uh, modules and everything. Uh, the toggles up here, first we have quantize, so that sets it so that the voltages are only in uh, one twelfth of a volt outputs, so that it's uh, like a chromatic scale um, using one volt per octave output. Uh, then L sets the length of the sequence to a set number, and you can change what that set number is uh, when you're calibrating it, um, which the instructions are for that are in the PDF. I'm not going to show that right now. And then T1 and T2 sets whether it's a trigger or a gate on the outputs for number one and number two. Um, then we have our clock input. There's no internal clock. And then we have our reset input and our reset button. Uh, which that just sets the sequence back to step zero uh, for either one. And then finally we have our sample input. Uh, so this is normalized to plus five volts internally, but when you send, uh, when you attach this to a, not attach, when you connect it to uh, some kind of pulse or trigger or something, uh, it's only going to sample the positions of the knobs while it's high. Uh, so while your voltage is above zero. And so with this, you can have it so that you're moving the knobs constantly, but it's only updating the sequence at a regular interval. Um, I think that's pretty much all you need to know. And so I'm, now I'm going to turn, uh, plug my clock in and uh, move the knobs around a little bit. And so I'll just set uh, those down there. <laughs> So now I'm going to set it to a set length, uh, which I think it should be 16 steps is what I have it set to right now. And now I'm going to connect the reset input to our divider. So this is a way of kind of manually setting the length. Okay. 
Uh, and now I'm going to set this over to the uh, sample. So it should only be reading the knobs for while this light is blinking. And so that's the general idea. Uh, thanks for watching.